Hey guys, it's Lisa DeLong, uh, Director of Education with Zengar Institute. I have promised you that every day we're going to do a different getting to know you staff member. And so today we are so excited because we have Johnny Diodatis here. He's the Director of Technical Operations. And don't ask me what that means, but we're going to ask Johnny what that means so that we can figure this all out, right? So Johnny, tell us, one, I'm so excited you're here. This is so fun. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Lisa. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Um, tell me, what does it mean to be a director of technical operations and what do you do for the business? So uh, over at Zengar, what I do is I basically oversee the whole uh, tech team. So I make sure that uh, they are performing the way they should, uh, treating our clients the way they should be treated. And uh, basically that's it. I also, uh, I also take care of escalated cases, which means when uh, a client, you know, something really goes sideways for a client, um, I'm usually there to help uh, talk them off the ledge and, and, and could try to come up with a uh, perfect uh, solution for them as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Excellent, excellent. I know you do it as quickly and efficient because we hear all the time, we love Johnny. And yet, have you ever seen Johnny? I mean, this is so fun to have him right here with us, isn't it? So we're very excited about that. Um, so I know this is a family business. What, is, what exactly does that mean? Where do you fit into the family? Well, yeah, like you said, exactly. It is a family business and I'm actually part of the family. So um, I am uh, Sue and Val's uh, son-in-law. I'm married to Samantha Diavadis okay. and uh, we are running this company together as a family and it is absolutely incredible. Just the way everything's is smooth and humming along, it's just fantastic. I love that. I, I'm very fortunate that I also get to work with my husband and have for most all of our married life. And I just, I know that it can be a challenge, but it is the best challenge ever. It's really a good time. So I love that you guys are all doing this together as a group. So Johnny, you know, this is a large community and there's a lot of questions that come to us during the courses that, that we try to answer to the best of our ability, but you're a perfect person to answer this question that we get quite often. Why is it that someone can't just buy the software, have their own computer, and put them all together? That's a great question, Lisa. I've, I've had that question asked uh, myself many times, actually. And the answer to that is we have done that in the past where we would allow our, our community to go out and purchase uh, a, a computer, and then we would send them our program, our software, and they would install it that way. The problem with that was, uh, a lot of people were not getting the correct specifications that are required for our software to run. So that people were running into a lot of problems with that. And then it was just very time consuming in order for us to figure out what is exactly it is that is going on. So what we've done is we've basically standardized it. We have tested every single uh, system before we actually uh, use it for our software. Um, that also means that before it goes out to anybody, we do what's called a burden test. It's a very rigorous test of all our equipment before going out to our community. So this way we're able to control what uh, specifications are on our system as well as testing it before it goes out to make sure that it is functioning properly. Excellent. Boy, that seems very rigorous. Lots of hands on that. I know we'll, we'll talk to some of the other uh, staff members later to see how many different hands actually touch that system before it gets out the door. So that's really good to know. Thanks, Johnny. I know that some people are curious as to why we need to actually put the um, NeuroOptimal system online for you to update it. Could we not just update it on the, the website somewhere? Well, the main reason, Lisa, for our, our clients to go online at least once a week is for our server to be able to validate the license on, on the client system. That is actually the main reason why we want you to go online at least once a week in order for it uh -huh. to, to make sure that the license is still valid. Um, another reason why we'd like people to go on at least once a week would be for the Microsoft updates. Now, some clients have asked, well, what's the best day or, or why should I do at least once a week? Actually, what the best day would be would be on a Tuesday evening would be the answer to that. And the reason for that is because Microsoft, what they do is they, uh, they, um, they roll out what's called a feature update on Tuesdays, which they call Patch Tuesdays. So in order to make sure that, that your, your system does uh, actually get that, that update, that important update from Microsoft, we recommend doing it on at least on, on a Tuesday night just to make sure because that's when they usually uh, launch that uh, or roll out, I'm sorry, that, that update. It's usually Tuesday afternoon. So by Tuesday evening, right. if, you're, if, you're, if your 
getting your system up to date, good chance that you'll get that important update that uh, Microsoft has launched. Excellent. Good to know. Now, um, I know that we work with a lot of mental health care uh, professionals, and one of the things they get a little worried about, um, not that we want to synchronize to that fear or that worry, but at the same time, I, I do think if we can address it, it makes a lot of sense, is... Um, what about confidentiality? What are they looking at when they're on our computer and or when you're you're updating it or anything? Great question. So first, you know what? I think I'll ask that question with uh, what we call our Zen Connect calls and when we are rem we have remote access to our client systems. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, just so that everybody out there is comfortable enough to know that once we do log on to your system, we cannot see anything except for our program unless we go into other things with permission but normally everything is blacked out for us. So the screen itself, the actual desktop itself will be blacked out so we can't see anything anyhow. And uh, we're, yeah, people are, or sometimes people are worried that we could actually go into their, into their program and stuff. Now, if need be with their permission while they're on, if there's something, another program that's conflicting with Neuroptimal, then yes, we'll get the, the client's permission in order to go in and, and, and fix whatever needs to be fixed there. Excellent, which brings up another question. Is there any um, other, added programs that will almost always conflict that we can stay away from? Uh, you know, that's, that's a pretty loaded question, to be honest with you. Um, we do not recommend putting any other programs except for native Microsoft apps on your system because we do know that those work properly with our system. So a uh, good rule of thumb is if it's not a Microsoft native app, do not install it good. and you should save yourself some headaches. Excellent. Johnny, I've had so much fun with you today. Thank you so, so much. Um, is there anything else you want the community just to know that I may have forgotten to ask or that you just feel if they knew about it would be very, you know, it would be helpful to you or your, you know, your team at all? I mean. <laughs> Maintenance. Keeping your system updated and maintained properly will definitely avoid uh, headaches as they come along. Just like your car, you don't neglect it. You take it in every once in a while to get it tuned up, to change the oil, change the brakes. Your computer needs the same thing. It needs a little bit of TLC. It needs updates. It needs, uh, it needs to be uh, maintained properly and basically tuned up in order for it to work uh, as, as efficiently as, as it should. So Excellent. Yeah. Super. Ah, Johnny, good job. Thank you so, so much. It's been so much fun being with you. And I know the community is going to be really happy to see who in the world you are. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. It was great.